the Metro line. Metro Mark 45's third and final SkyTrain line on the network. This line was one of the most complicated lines to build because it was one of the biggest and most expensive to build because the terrain surrounding the line was extremely difficult to maneuver so therefore a new style of the guideways as well as the trains were needed to be accomplished for this line to be built the line runs from the ocean temple pier running through all major key points in the land of aj including the aj capital the aj residential eventually going through the city of elder grove and terminating at the metro mark 45 university the line also connects both the pacific line and the West Coast Express. The Metro Line is connected with the Pacific Line at the Vinkland Center Station, a shared triple platform station, which is the terminal station for the Pacific Line. And therefore, you could transfer the lines at the station into the city of Mark 45. In this video, we will be going through the entire line, starting from the Ocean Temples all the way to the University Station, the end to end experience all right our first station is of course the first terminal station on the metro line which is called the ocean temples now yes it is called ocean temples because there are two ocean temples nearby the station however the main real purpose of the station is to serve this pier this will be a cargo pier as well as an oil tank nearby so a lot of uh, the cities uh, gas and oil supplies as well as other cargo deliveries from other parts of the world will be received here workers will need to come here to work via a commute system and what better way to do it than to link it to the rest of the city by uh, making a station for the metro line this station of course came later in the phase two of the metro line construction um, the original I, plan was to just end the state, end the line at a uh, Colum at Columbia Golf Course, but uh, we decided since this place was getting developed anyways, which used to be a peaceful little island, but uh, the people opt to build a pier here, and so we figured, you know what, let's just extend the metro line all the way here because why not? So of course there's nothing here at the moment but except for this station, but there will be in the future. So this is one of the biggest terminal stations I think we built. All the Metro Line stations are a lot bigger than the Pacific and Gordia 10 line stations. So meaning there is there is a lot of room for details and a lot of space obviously when it comes to a big station, as well as the platform length. The platform length is extra long as you can see here as we are flying around the overall station structure. Um, this station, uh, of course, did not look like this before. It looked very, very different, and I'm really glad of what it looks like now. So let's enter. So here is the entrance, the singular entrance, and of course, uh, these are our fare gates as our system-wide thing now. The exit sign is right there. Um, and then you can see a very spacious concourse area going straight up to the singular platform because that's all you need for a terminal station so this is the one and only platform platform one to metro mark 45 university and then there's the other exit sign and you know it's just an indication in case people get confused and this is our platform nice and wide and very spacious very very spacious there's so much room to move around sit down and wait for a train um, Metro Line uses the longest trains on the system. Yeah, this platform is just it's just long. There's lots of room to move around and yeah, so that is that is it for the station pretty much.
The next station is Columbia Golf Course. Our next stop here is the Columbia Golf Course Station. Now, as the name suggests, this station serves the upcoming golf course for the city, for the world, as、uh, lots of seniors will probably stop by here in their retirement ages to come play golf. And it's a national park reserve, and what better way to make the commute here easier by making this station? Originally, this station was called Woodland Mansion the Second. And、that name obviously sounds a little bit, a little bit stupid, so、uh, that's why we changed it to Columbia Golf Course. And of course, the station went through a renovation, just like the entire system. And、uh, to say the least, the station looks really nice now. As you can see, very spacious concourses with two entrances,、um, which take you to both platforms with ease. So that is honestly what I really love about these new stations. They take you to both platforms without a sweat. So this is, of course, the platform. I think this is platform two that takes you to the ocean temples.、Um, of course, long platforms again, as you would expect, and lots of space too.、Oh, we're on platform, yeah. Okay, we're we're correct. And、um, and instead of letting com completely covering it by windows, we just left. We just made this a window fence, if you will, just for open air as well as a lot of sunlight. Um, usually the weather is nice here, but even if it rains, there is this roof here to protect you. So lots of open air, and you know you can feel comfortable while waiting for a train. So coming back down now, we're back in this very spacious concourse area. This is the sign that directs you which this、uh, stairway takes you, and then here is the other sign that directs you to which that stairway takes you to. And then this is the exit to the bus loop and the parking lot. So two entrances. Um, so you don't need to walk all the way around the station to enter, and that's honestly the convenience of it. Of a pathway there, looking very, very handsome and fine.、Um, the overall structure of the station, as I've already mentioned, is supposed to be open air and spacious, but at the same time, still provide weather protection for our、uh, riders who are taking the line. And yeah, so I really like this design of the station. I think it's one of the best redesigns we've done from the original. We still follow the original. The original was open roofed as well, but it had a lot of、uh, flaws and it gets really windy from time to time and no weather protection. So I really like this design. So this is the Columbia Golf Course Station. The next station is AJ Residential. Next up is the AJ Residential Station. Now, the first distinctive thing you'll notice in this station is that it's underground. Well, sort of. Yes, but no. This is an technically an underground island platform station. However, it is only because geographically the AJ Capital is built on top of a very tall hill and a very steep hill. To elevate the tracks would be an absolute nightmare. So instead of elevating it, a trench was just dug right through the hill, and the station was built within the trench. Therefore, the metro line is staying on the same level, but the station is quote unquote underground. So right now we're on platform one. And、you can see these are the signs that direct you to which platform goes to where. It's an island platform, so switching platforms is super easy here.、Um, this is platform two, I believe. This that's the some natural skylight to shine in. Yep, this is platform two.、Um, the station definitely had a major, major upgrade. It it shined a lot if you looked at the old footage of the station, what it looks like. There's lots of space too, to say the least. Because we need enough space for the stairway in the middle to actually function, so people have space to walk around. Here are the signs again to direct you to where each goes,、um, and then the exits are up here. 
so again this is a stairway that goes both ways on the platform so for a better flow you can choose to whatever way you want to go and there are two exits as you can see as we have been consistently been keeping up with the other two lines but this exit goes to the uh bus loop the residential must have a bus loop so you know transferring here is easy and you can see this is the trench that the metro line runs through it's very very protected it's barred up so no one can fall in and here is the bus loop entrance as i like to call it um yeah so you can see the station design is very very flat as you can see we didn't try to make it tall because it's an underground station but it just covers the station as a whole so people won't get rained on and snowed on and you know you know the dealio here so this is the street entrance the other entrance on highway one and you just come down the platform the stairway uh you can see um i'm actually gonna come back out here a little bit and just show you the residential area itself now obviously there is nothing being built there yet as you can see it is quite empty but in the future there will be houses there thus making this a residential area and I think this is the only metro line station that is quote unquote underground. So there is that. So I think it's time to move on. The next station is Polar Peaks. Exit here for rapid bus services. And here is the Polar Peak station. Now this station in the future will be very important. It might not seem a lot like now for where it's located but in the future this station will serve one of the busiest hubs in the metro mark 45 apart from the city itself as well as a uh, as a big castle not like the night striker castle but still there will also be a couple bases here for government facilities and, and what if um so this station may not be important now but it's been upgraded in advance in preparation for this this uh populated area of polar peaks so right now you can see this is a uh, platform two that we're sitting on so this is a side platform station as it's transitioned out of the underground station earlier from aj residential now we're above ground again it's elevated again um so let's go down the stairs very spacious again to the very once again very spacious concourse area with lots of signs to direct you to which exit again this has two exits so this is the north exit and this station is located in the middle of the road, so you will have to cross the street to access the station. Because this, uh, in the middle of the road, you can see, if you look at here, the road is wide. In the middle is the station, and then the bus loop, there's a small little bus loop here. Um, so yeah, you're gonna have to cross the street to access the station. So the concourse area with lots of signs directing you, so platform one is just up ahead here. And then this is the south exit. Um, on also on the same street which is highway one um, so yeah so this station might be a little bit more tricky to access but we still made two entrances so you still don't have to make that horrible loopy loop here is the stairway that goes up to the platform two i believe this is platform two. Oh no this is platform one my bad uh, yeah i'm not i'm not remembering my platforms correctly <laughs> this is platform one same thing as you can see it's a side platform station so Really, the only priority is to cover the passengers. The trains are not going to get affected by weather, so it's all right. Um, this station used to be called, I think it used to be called Polar Peaks as well, so it has maintained its name. Over here at this guideway, we have a little uh, track section here for 
a, a track switches or AFK trains like that train there, out of service trains to park. And yeah, so that is uh, pretty much it for the station. It is a little bit interesting from the other ones from where it's located, because yeah, so that is it for Polar Peaks. So now let's hop back in, back to platform two to the university. That's the direction we're going right now. And let us move on to the next stop. The next station is Woodland Mansion. Okay, the next station is the Woodland Mansion station. And of course, it's an island platform station and it it's quite similar to the Columbia golf course station in terms of the style in terms of the materials used but obviously this is an island platform Columbia wasn't we are on platform uno right now and to be quite honest i'm just gonna say this i really like the design i know i'm, I'm kind of just bragging about <laughs> i'm kind of bragging right now but uh I, i'm just being honest i really really like this design it's it follows the dark oak forest the dark forest that the woodland mansion spawn in and the woodland mansion itself uses dark oak wood so the station follows it quite nicely we have some lanterns for the lighting we have those waiting screens and again lots of space and a spacious platform for both sides for people to wait for trains to come now as the name suggests this station serves the woodland mansion uh, right across the field over there, which will there will be a village built around it So it's not just a mansion. So this station actually will have a much better purpose So there are two entrances of course common theme throughout all the new upgraded metro line stations Which is the double entrances on both sides for the convenience sake um, Which are relatively close to each other for this station's case, but we still did two just just why not? Um, and just yeah, look at the, just look at the design of this thing. I know and it's uh, I'm, I'm gonna I don't want to brag about it, but I will it is a Fantastic looking station to say the least and it's located on the hillside So the foundations of it had to be carefully constructed and to uh, ex ex Access it. you can see there's the parking lot and then the, the pathway that will go to the woodland mansion itself and Here is a look of the Station just flying around you can see you can see the pillars at the bottom. It is uh, supported on on top of a a cliff if you to say so um but other than that yeah this station just looks like uh, part of the mansion itself so to say at least using the house style roof as i like to call it um and then let's head over quickly and go over this path you can see the path will lead you straight to the woodland mansion itself uh, woodland mansions are naturally spawned in the world but we're going to turn this mansion into an actual touristy attraction needless to say that is pretty much it for this area it's just a national park area if you say so because we have several parks all over the world not just here so this is one of them in that case so 
yeah, that's it for this one. Let's head back onto the tracks here at the signs that will tell you which platform is what. And let's move on to the next station. The next station is AJ Capital. Exit here for rapid bus services to the city of Mark 45. Next up, this is what I would arguably claim that this is probably one of the most important stations of the line apart from Vinkland Center and the University Station. This is called the AJ Capital Station and as the name suggests it is located in the capital city of the land of AJ. Now if capital city means this will be a giant highly populated area and you'll notice something very distinctive about this station is that it is located inside a building and when you exit the ferry gates here it takes you the station literally looks like it's embedded in the building and that's because it is the station is inside this whole building actually is the station but this is a little mall that will be built around it so when people get off there's going to be shops in these empty stalls that are not here yet and maybe some restaurants and the idea is that uh, this just this brings more attraction to this capital city um you can see the tracks going through the building so the way this building is designed is yeah so the trains can move inside the building and move through the building with an ease and the station is right there so to actually if you're just here for the metro line you can still get to the platforms easily but if you're here and you actually want to do some shopping and stuff this is also an option so the hence this station was quite difficult to build originally this was called the uh, savannah village station but that savannah village has now turned to a whole capital city um, so we come up here, so this is how you get to the other platform. You, you'll notice the fare gates are at the platform entrances directly. So that way people don't have to pay a uh, transit fee if they just want to come here for the mall itself, not for rest, just like if they want to come here for the restaurants and the shops and not take the metro line, they can still do so and they don't have to pay the, uh, the riding, the transiting fee. That's why we put the gates right at the entrance of the platforms, so. There's that. So let's come down here and show you the other shops, uh, which are still not here, as you can see. Um, but eventually, in the future, this mall, once it's developed, will look fantastic. So now let's head down to the ground level, where the main entrance is. And you can see this is the support pillar that's holding up that massive cover you see over the tracks. These are the signs directing you to which platforms and uh, to other places of the station such as the indoor bus loop that's right this bus loop is indoors and this is one of the most busiest bus loops probably in in this area of the city of the world if you if i say so myself and here's the outside entrance as you can see and uh, just to give you the, the scale of this building here it is yes this is a massive mall the station is only a fraction of the size of this mall. There are three levels in total and the station is located on the third level. But to get up to the platforms is very easy because the stairways are built with... It's easy to find the stairways and it's easy to get up. That's the best way I can put it. And then there is that cover that covers the tracks when they get inside. It's a noise barrier so it doesn't... So you don't hear the trains as loud as they actually are when they 
zoom through the building and into the station. And yeah, so I mean, that's um, yeah, probably one, arguably one of my favorite stations of the whole line, and probably one of the most busiest of the whole line. So let's head back up these two flights of stairs to the third level, enter the fair gates, and head to the next stop after this AJ Capital. Hot Springs is our next stop, and this station, I also really like the design of this. Just a lot of the stations on the Metro line, once they've been upgraded, they look so much cooler and better than what they did before. Hot Springs, as you would suggest, is uh, serving the hot springs. You know, the city has a will have a hot spring, which is not here yet, but it will. Um, this is a much quieter, less populated station. It is an island platform station. And just, God, look at the design of this. Open roof, uh, sorry, open walls so air can still flow in, but lots of windows for sunlight. Here are the signs indicating what platforms we are on, despite it being an island platform. Um, natural lighting, but we have lanterns for the actual lighting when it's nighttime. Um, here, and yeah. You know, once again, what we aim for these these stations when we upgraded them is space and most importantly, aesthetics. The station looks nice, then the passenger would feel very comfortable getting onto a train because they want to come into the station. It's as simple as that. And island platform stations actually tend to be easier to, to design than side platform stations because it, you're just basically designing one big platform set of two. And the walkway, this exit, is just one path down the middle. So. There's that. Um, so let's go down to the concourse area. It's a very tiny concourse area because we just have to make do with the space we had here. Um, this will take you right across Kingston Highway. And we are now across the street, across the station, which is actually where the springs will be, but there's nothing now, so there's no point in showing you. Um, just a, a street view of the station. It's actually quite high up in the air, if, if, as you just saw. Um, so let's go back up. Yeah, it's a little tinier space in terms of the concourse area, but the platform is still quite spacious and quite tall as you saw from the street earlier. So let's move on. The next station is Black Diamond. Remember how I said Hot Springs is my favorite station? Well, this will top it. This is my all-time favorite station design in the entire system, not just the Metro Line. In the entire Skytrain system we have this. Black Diamond Station is my favorite. And you can see why right here. Architecturally, it looks absolutely stunning. It's an open roof, therefore open air. Um, the original design of the station actually is quite similar. We haven't really changed much, but we still did a lot of changes to the concourse area and the platform itself. We just made some minor upgrades to the actual architectural cover of this. It just looks so good. I'm sorry. I just got to brag about it. It just looks so good. Right now we're on platform one. 
Um, and then, you know, crossing your side is platform two. We got the screens, of course, as always. Got the signs, of course. Um, the one and only stairway up. And it's the only one you'll need because it's an island platform. Lots of windows for the open air, open light. And then, okay, again, two, and two exits. You'll notice back in the hot spring station, there's only one exit. That's because on the other side, it's a river. Um, but in this case, Black Diamond will serve a upcoming casino. So a casino will be built here. And that's why the station is here at the moment um, for our lovely people who want to come here and gamble and um, want to get away home easier. You can see Vin uh, Vinkland Center Station is actually not far from here. So um, to say the least, uh, these stations are quite close to each other. So let's actually head back up now. That's pretty much it for the station. There's nothing around it. So let's move on to Vinkland Center Station, and which is probably the most busiest station on the entire network. here for the Pacific Line. Ah, uh, yes. The good old Vinkland Center Station. The triple platform station on the network that shares with the Pacific Line. Now, this station basically was completely remade during the upgrading process just because the old design, if you see right here at this footage, it did not look good. So we've completely remade the station. I have gone over the, this exact same station in the Pacific Line video, but uh, just to give you that idea, we're going to go over it again. So we're going to head down here to the Pacific Line platform. Platform 3, of course, you want to check out the Pacific Line, then the video is, uh, it will be in the description and in the end screen, all that, yada, yada, yada. But here is the platform, um, Platform 3, the only third platform in the whole system. Um, and that will take you to the City of Mark 45 and other places of this world, to say so. So now we're going to go back up to Platforms 1 and 2, which is the Metro Line platforms. Lots of signs to direct you around, especially if you're going to the station for the first time. Um, let's go down this very spacious stairway to the concourse area, which is also very spacious. And you see there are two exits. This is the main exit slash entrance on Kingston Highway. Very big entrance. You can see the signs telling you this is for both Pacific and Metro Line. Here is a street view of the station. Just like that. Very nice. Um, and let's go to the bus loop exit. This is the other one. It's a little smaller, but uh, you know it's still important. So this is the bus loop entrance slash exit. You can see some of the Pacific Line cutting through here. Now let's go back through the station, back up the stairwell. You can see we have to make the spacious for a good reason. There is literally two skydiving lines here, and that's why uh, the station had to be spacious. But it gets a little bit squishy at the metro line platforms just because of the space we had we kind of dedicated the station more to the pacific line and rapid bus services. Sterling Island Station is the next on our stop. Originally, this is called the, I think, the uh, Mesa Island Station. Don't exactly quite remember. The station also went through some changes in the upgrading process. 
Um, Sterling Island is now important because the station will connect you to the West Coast Express island platform of course as you can see um, yeah I think we just covered this uh, roof of some copper just to again barricade the sound a little bit still kept some kept the windows for the natural sunlight we always like that um, so let's head down the stairway the stairway is a little bit squishy but then it does split into two other stairways so the traffic can split and then the concourse area here is quite spacious with two exits this is of course the Kingston Highway exit and the way to get to the West Coast Express here is the look at the entrance again these stations are quite tall as you can see this metro line is actually quite tall from the ground so yeah look at that look at the overall scale and here we are on the Sterling Island itself this is the West Coast Express station as well as the bus loop both on the same area um so you will have to cross the street to get to both transit services uh it's just the geography of this place we had to make with what we had um but yeah so sterling island there will be a village here and uh it, it is an island so there must be stuff on an island but that's coming here is the other entrance on the other side the sterling island entrance and let's go back up the stairs and actually that's pretty much it for now oh the west coast express will be in its own video of course so let's move on to the next stop and through the sky bridge actually let's go through the sky bridge here is a quick look at sky bridge number two as we like to call it because the first sky bridge actually is at the pacific line uh crossing over the Volskaya inlet from Volskaya to the ferry terminal so this one here is just a crossing over from Sterling Island to the rest of the tip of the land if you say uh, from between Inland Street and Sterling Island that's the best way to put it um this Skybridge's design is a lot different than Skybridge 1 as you can see and uh, it's not a long bridge unlike Skybridge 1 but yeah there's really not much to say about it uh it looks great uh, what do you guys think it's a double pillar supported bridge I don't know what's the best way to describe it, but yep. The next station is Inlet Street. Our next stop is Inlet Street. And Inlet Street is just a uh, retail hub, a little small uh, restaurant and shop retail hub. But to have a station here is also important for connections. Um, this used to be called the Withers Mountain Station, and as you can see, this platform or the station is a side platform station. Of course, the most important thing are the open air and, of course, the natural sunlight via the windows. So let's come down the stairs from that platform to the concourse area. Again, a very spacious concourse area of a singular exit slash entrance. Some signs to direct you to the two platforms. Now, unlike the island platforms, the side platforms are not connected, so you're gonna have to really pay attention to the signs here. And, to find which way you're going so let's come out the fair gates uh, and here is a glimpse of inlet street like i said this is a small retail and restaurant hub uh, there will be costco and a bunch of other big retail stores built there in the future so here is a glance of the station entrance and here's a glance of the station as a whole you can see this is not this is probably not gonna be one of the most busiest stations but it's still it's still gonna be used especially for people who come here to this area for work and and stuff so that's uh that also you saw earlier is the sky bridge um thing i think i'll show you i think i showed that in a bit actually i don't remember if i, I remember if i record i don't think i did I mean, i'll show you guys this after um but here is the other platform the other platform the other side same design same roof screens sign you name it it's pretty much the same thing 
Um, and then, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it for Inlet Street Station. So, mm, I wouldn't say this is my favorite design, but it, it still looks pretty and definitely looks better than it did before, for sure. So, let's move on to the next stop. The next station is Lincoln. This is Lincoln Station. Now Lincoln, this area, will be another industrial area. We have an industrial area back in the city, but it's not a lot of space. So to keep the business and the economy running for the city, we needed to set up another area for industrial factories and all that. So this will be it. Although there's nothing here now, we do have this station, which used to be a Desert Temple station. This is one of the stations that went through a massive upgrade, without a doubt, massive upgrade. And yeah, so this is an island platform station, as you can see. Uh, you can, you can kind of see a island platform, side platform pattern going on on this phase one, as we call it, of the metro line. Um, we are on platform two right now. Very spacious, as always. Got to make sure we got our space. Platform one with the screens, as you can see, the lighting is lanterns. Here's a sign telling you which side is which. Uh, mostly people take coming here will be transferring to the Pacific line. So we have that sign to direct them where to do so. So here is the concourse area. Nothing too much here, very spacious. Uh, we might install machines here in the future. So that's probably what it will be. Um, and then coming out the fair gates, entrance, singular entrance. And yeah, so once again, probably not going to be a busy station, but a lot of the industrial workers will rely on the Metro Line and the station to come to work and go home after. So besides this, will this is en route to the university. So we figure it will be better. It just might as well throw in a station here while the line is cutting through here anyways. So yeah, it, it, it made the most perfect sense. So let's, uh, let's head back up. And uh, let me know what you guys want to see in this area if, you're, if you want to input your opinions here. So let's move on. The next station is Zoo 45. Next up, the second last station on the line, this is Zoo 45. It's located in the city of Outer Grove, but uh, we figured Zoo 45 would fit the better name because, as you can figure out, Zoo 45, our old zoo, which is now the Twin Towers, will be settled here. It's not gone, it's just moving. And this station is perfect. If we name the station Zoo 45, then that's how people know instead of naming it Outer Grove. So let's come down. Let's let's come down first and show you what we've got. So the Congress area here is a little bit tiny, as you can see. Um, but the platforms here, I think is one of the most spacious platforms ever on the entire system. Just look at this, lots of space, extra long platforms, of course. 
And look at that, lots of space. Lots of space to roam around. There's even seats at the back. There is no worries for a crowded platform. Unless, of course, there's a lot, a lot of people. But what I'm saying is there's a lot of space here. And a lot of uh, natural sunlight. In this direction, that's where the zoo will be in the future. It's going to be built in that area. Because Alder Grove will be here, which is, a, which is another city to, as the easiest way to put it. Um, there will be skyscrapers. Buildings, more buildings, shops, restaurants, you name it, all the city necessities. And here is the entrance, you know, to give you the proper entrance and exit look. And a big pathway to walk to the street. You can see this is, uh, the street will take you to the zoo. Well, the zoo, that's not here yet, but it will come. Um, and yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. That's all I got to show for now. Outer Grove is uh, not developed yet at all, but when it will, when it does, it will look absolutely fantastic. Okay, so now let's go through this last stretch of the line, which will now take us to the University Station as well as the Operation and Maintenance Center. The next station is Metromark 45 University Terminus Station. Would all passengers please leave the train at this platform? Alright, before we go to the terminals, we go, before we go to the university station itself, let's, uh, let's fly over to the operation and maintenance center quickly and take a look at it because this is actually relatively really close to the university station. So this is by far the biggest maintenance and operation center in the entire system. See, there is the university station. Here is the operation center. So it's not far from each other. Um, it's relatively really close. So of course, when the line is not in operation, all the trains are basically at this end, the majority of it. There's some AFK tracks along the route, but most of the trains come here, of course, to get maintenance, to get maintained, to get cleaned, yada, 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 you know the, you know, you know this stuff. Here's the parking lot as you first enter. Um, for the staff, of course, for the people who work here, uh, there are some bridges that go over the tracks as to not cause any interference. Um, unlike the other two lines, this operation center has a lot more stalls because the trains here are longer, as you can see, and there's more space for them to move around. So you can see these are the tracks that will connect to the main guide wind railway. There's one AFK track in the middle, so you can have a train parked right there. And then uh, as the train, as the tracks descend, they will you know, split off into different directions. So we have some stalls here to park out of service trains. There is our little uh, maintenance train, which is, you know, if the system goes haywire on the tracks, then that is deployed to fix stuff. Here is another smaller one. It's like more of a cargo one to hold materials that are needed. Um, you see that the tracks loop wrap around the whole building all the way to here. And this is just another set of uh, AFK tracks for out of service trains to park when they're not in service or not being used at all. They'll just chill here. There is no connection to the rest of the tracks. They're all separate here. Um, so let's enter the main building now. You can see that this, the format of this building is very similar to the other two lines. If you've watched the other two videos, then you'll know. Um, the only major difference is of course the 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 bay, the, the whole, uh, bay itself is a lot bigger. There's a lot more platforms. 
um, each platform, but the lane hasn't exactly changed. It is, I think it's the same as the Pacific and Gordia 10 line. So, but there are more, so more trains can be worked on at once. So to fill out every single platform, I think we can go up to 12 trains at once, I think. So high frequency. So entering this room now, this is of course the main control center where all the, all the, uh, magic takes place. This is the, these are the computers. These are uh, this thing, this machine, that is in case the system goes haywire, then that machine will be used to manually control the whole system. Um, and that's it. So I'm back down. Let's go back out. And that is pretty much it for the entire operation and maintenance center. I'm trying to think if there's any, any more to look at. I don't think there is. I think that's pretty much it. So we can move on. Okay, here is the terminal station, the Metro Mark 45 University Station. Probably the best one on the on the line as well. I'm sorry, I think this one tops the Ocean Temple Station, but this is just my opinion. Single platform again because well, it's a terminal station. Um, extra long platform once again. You can notice the tracks. It looks it looks so much cleaner the way this this thing is designed. Um, yeah, lot, lots more space you can see between the tracks and the sign. Um, here is the sign, or the, the sign that the yeah to tell you the time of the trains. We have our N rods as lighting source here. So let's come down this very spacious stairway to the concourse area, and this will take you to a very big exit and entrance to the university itself. And here is the entrance very spacious because you know a lot of students will be coming here for their studies so commute is of outer importance here so we have a bus loop set up here as well that is the main office over there um here is the station see it used to be called the taiga village station as a fun fact um as for the university itself is considered uh it's not oh well, it's being developed it's slowly being developed um what we have right now is just the main office bus loop the station and the entrance pretty much done but um yeah other than that it's just an empty lot at the moment if in the future you will when we come back to this place it will be developed so in the meantime this is all we have uh the bus loop is quite spacious already if i do say so myself there is quite a amount of stalls there and that's pretty much it okay and that's pretty much it for the entire line as a whole uh we've we've done it from the end to end experience we've went from the ocean temples all the way to here Overall, I'll say all these stations have been remade, and uh, I'm curious, what do you guys think which looks the best in design? But this is where the trip ends. Now, of course, if you um, want to take a look at the other two lines, especially the Pacific line when it connects at the Finkland Center Station, then click the, click the videos. They're available on my channel in the description and in the end screens. You know the deal. But in the meantime, that is it for this. Uh, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. The more subscribe, I'm trying to aim for 10k by the end of this year. I think that's possible. So help me, guys. We can do it. We can do it. And that will really help grow the channel, and I can continue doing more of these kind of videos. So in the meantime, um, I'm excited to see the developments around this line being developed because as of now, there's really not much. But when they do, I look forward to see what they look like. And I hope you guys are as well. So let me know what you guys think. Um, and that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you all in the next ones. Thank you so much. Bye for now.